religionists today, we're going to look at the tribal religions. Shamanism, as it's also known. The core original religions, all human beings, ancestors, shared tribal religions at one point in history, not so long ago, and even tribal religions live on today. As a student I had once said, he thought all the big religions, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Taoism, Confucianism, are all fakes predicated on late agricultural pan-ethnic empires and religions where everyone is homogenized into the same kind of milk, if you will, where we find generic beliefs spreading across continents as all the Muslims or Christians believe they claim the same thing. But tribal religion is very diverse. We can't say from the Cherokee uh, to the Bum religion of Tibet that we have the same religion at all. And of course these tribal religions uh, have been going extinct. There aren't so many left and they are an endangered species. And tribalism in its core features centers around the shaman. And the shaman is the centerpiece, I will say, of the whole tribe, more important than the chief. And for those who uh, have the awareness competencies and know this movie, The Lion King, and if you care to go to YouTube and Google Rafiki Simba, you can see Rafiki as the healer of Simba, the retriever of his lost soul which doesn't have to refer to any metaphysical soul in a Greco kind of Christian sense, but rather despair, despondency, depression. These are things the shaman can cure through giving and restoring belief and hope to the tribe. And that whole movie hinges around the shaman. The shaman isn't the chief, but he dedicates the chief and the chief goes to the shaman for guidance about where to hunt, for example. So the shaman is the core underpinning of all religions. Now today we still have remnants of the shaman in the form of priests, mullahs, monks, and so forth. Uh, but they are a pale shadow of the shamans of the original tribal religions. And in every religion we find sacred centers, it could be the totem pole and the like, or uh, indeed inhabiting a central feature of every human consciousness. And so belief in the shaman is a belief that there is a spirit world, could just be the consciousness and psychological states. As a science religion proponent, I don't uh, suggest that we can prove the existence of an actual spirit world, but we can certainly see that around the whole planet humans have believed in the existence of such a spirit world and have had mediators between the mundane and spiritual world uh, since the very beginning really of time. And so uh, I encourage you to think about this earliest of the religions and even the Bible agrees with this that humankind was at its best in the Garden of Eden pre-agricultural people, Adam and Eve, naked because they had no shame. They had no laws from the Bronze Age city-states that will be their religions that we'll be looking at as well. And so we'll see the tribal religions focus on nature, gods of water, the sky, the sun, the earth, crops, and the like. So without the shaman, there would indeed, I think, be no human society. Uh, and so perhaps even we see a return on the part of some in neo-pagan movements and so forth uh, to the original religion of humankind.